In this video, I am going to show you how I made my real-time LED clock. So this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. So without wasting time, let's get started. As I love lightning, so recently I bought an addressable LED strip for 330 Indian rupees. I was confused, what can I do with it? I normally don't like the classic clocks, so I thought of making a digital clock with it. I got myself a 24 into 15 inch plywood board. Then I make a rough lining for 4 digits of the clock. Firstly, I measure the length of the single LED strip and then creating lining on the boards. Then I cut the LED strip from the joint given between them. And we can see there, there are 3 terminals, 12 volts, ground and the third one is used for data in and data out. Then I cut more of them and place them on the board according to the rough lining. Then I peel off the glue guard from the bag and stick it on the board. Make sure the data in and the data out pin are correctly aligned and pattern must be same as I am doing. Now do the same for all four. Then I took a cutting blade and removed the plastic from the terminals and also used a sharp screwdriver for removing the plastic. Then I did it for all the strips. Then solder all the points of strip from 12 volts to 12 volts, ground to ground and data out to data in of consecutive strips. Then for checking, I powered up the LED strip with a 12 volt charger and a raw code. I also added the rest of the LED strip on the back side of the board so that it looked more fancy. Then I covered the front side of the board with a black chart paper so its connection remains safe for later work and cut the chart using cutter from the above each LED. Then I poured a lot of glue on the board and placed a thermocol sheet on it and put a lot of weight on it. After it gets dry, I cut excess thermocol sheet and apply power supply to it and use a pencil and a scale to make linings on it. Then using a sharp cutter and a scale, I cut all the digits as you may have seen in a 7 segment display. Then I cut long strips of chart paper 1.5 cm in breadth and stick them with glue to the borders of it so that the borders will look more decent and strong. Then I pasted a trace paper which is basically a translucent on the clock and make sure no air bubble gets trapped between them. 
Then I fixed a breadboard behind the board and push an Arduino Nano behind it. I used a 7805 voltage regulator to convert 12 volt into 5 volts that is suitable for our Arduino. Then I took a RTC D3231 real time clock and connect it with the Arduino. I connected VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground and SCL to A5 and SDA to A4 of the Arduino. And then I connected the data line of the LED strip to digital 6. After uploading the program, it was working correctly. Now I designed a PCB for a similar board and went to jlcpcb.com. Then I uploaded my Gerber files and then I selected my quantity to 10 and the color and added them to cart and select my address and pay it using PayPal. I got my PCB in 6 days and now I am ready to solder the components on it. I solder female header pins and 7805IC on it. Then I solder the 3 wires of the LED strip and screw them behind the board. Now I put the node MCU and RTC on the board, upload my program and that's it. The quality of the board provided by glcpcb.com is awesome and I would like to thank them for sponsoring this project video. As you can see, the clock looks magnificent and ambient light gives it more decent looks. If you want to make your own, I have given a link to the website in the description where I had written an article on it so you can check that. You can order your PCBs from glcpcb.com for low prices. If you made such a project, don't forget to mention me at the rate Robo Circuits. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new here. So thank you guys and have a nice day.